Hello again, everybody. Right, this is in. I'm in a book group in my local town, in a local Waterstones. And we pick three books every month to read and then talk about them and, you know, see what people like and don't like about them. And I thought I'd do like little update videos of what we're reading at that time and if you guys want to read any of them at the same time and you can let me know what you're thinking of them and what have you. So last month we read Pretty Little Liars, Life As We Knew It and Divergent. Now Divergent I'd already read so I told everybody that they had to read it and none of them had already which I was really surprised about. So, Divergent by Veronica Roth. Everybody that read it really loved it and they were so glad that I picked it. I was like, yeah, I'm amazing. So they were really glad they read it. Um, and we all agreed that if, if we were in Chris's place then we'd all have died. Like, pretty early on. And probably would have gone with the safe choice. But I um, mean, yeah, everybody really loved it. And if you haven't read it, you really, really, really need to. I still think this is my favourite book of the year so far, and I've read it twice now, and I enjoyed it just as much the second time round. We, so we read Pretty Little Lies by Sarah Shepherd, and I was a bit... I didn't really want to read it, but I'd, I'd already bought it, so I thought, oh, I might as well. But just because it was so difficult to remember who everybody was. So I had to keep, I'd get to like here and think, oh, who's that? And then I'd have to go back and check who it is. And yeah, some people didn't, did the same with me. They started it and couldn't get on with it. But I carried on and finished it. And we were all guessing on who the letters were from, who A was. And, but most of them had watched like the TV show, so they just went, Either. But I really did get into it, and everybody had something interesting going on with them, so I really liked that. Um, Life as We Knew It by Susan Beffer, um, those that read it really liked it, and I particularly really liked the ending, I didn't see it coming at all. And, okay, here's a question for you, anybody who's read it, there's a bit in it, when the girl, I can't even remember her name. Uh, the girl in it. What did you say the girl in it? She is from a town where this famous ice skate comes from. And whilst everything is happening, he supposedly comes home and she ice skates with him on the frozen lake. But somebody mentioned, and I can't remember this in here, that they, this person asked if I thought he was imaginary or real. That she'd imagined him coming back. And I hadn't even considered that, but apparently it says in here that she didn't know whether she'd imagined it or not. And I, li I really just had never even thought of it. So, if you read it, let me know if you thought of it too, or the same as me and didn't have a clue. But now that she's told me, I'm like, oh, I want to read it again now. But everybody liked it. Um, it had its moments where it was a little slow, but it always picked straight back up again. There was always something going on. And I really wanted to know what happened in the end. So I'm really glad I've got the next ones ready to read. Right, so that was this month. Next month's picks, we've got Perfect Chemistry by Simone El Calais. Ultraviolet by R.J. Anderson and Haunting Violet by Alexandra Harvey. Now, I've already read Haunting Violet and loved it. So, let me pick that one. Now, we've got a violet theme going on. That one. And I don't really like this cover. But I mean, it's shiny, but I don't like the image on it. But it sounds really quite good. So uh, that one, and Perfect Chemistry, I'm like probably the only person in the world who hasn't read this book. Um, but I know I really should. And I didn't realise the writing is quite tiny. 
Yes, I'm sure I'll love it. I've read her Leaving Paradise books. So, yes. Those are the three for the next month. If you want to read them as well, and then leave me a comment, or we can chat about them, see what we're thinking. Um, or if you've read them, let me know what you thought about them. If you think this is a good idea, doing this like monthly update of these book clubs, then let me know. Or if they're boring, then tell me that too. And I'll see you around next time.